Greetings, ISTE board. I'm Scott McLeod, Director of Innovation at Prairie Lakes Area Education Agency here in Iowa and blogger at dangerouslyirrelevant.org. I get to visit a lot of schools and it's usually exciting to see enthusiastic communities working hard to make good things happen for kids. The sad thing, however, is that with rare exception, the schools all kind of seem the same, even in the best places that I visit. Everywhere I go, we're mostly implementing a 20th and sometimes 19th century model of education. The basic learning and teaching work that occurs in most of our classrooms is still primarily transmissive. Students passively receive information from the teacher or textbook or from the internet or software, and then later regurgitate it back to show that they've learned the required low-level facts or procedures. They do this day after day, week after week, year after year. We have lots of indicators that this model doesn't work very well. For instance, it's woefully inadequate to prepare graduates for the more complex demands of a knowledge and innovation economy. The data are very clear that the economic and employment payoffs for routine cognitive work are virtually nil these days. But routine cognitive work is exactly what most students continue to do most of the time in their classrooms. Also, as the recent Gallup poll results reminded us, we know that significant percentages of our kids are bored out of their minds. Even when they show up, they're disengaged from the academic aspects of school, and they question the relevance of what they're asked to do, particularly as they move up the grades. The compliant ones play the game of school well enough to get into college. The rest drop out physically or mentally, their talents, interests, and contributions squandered as wasted potential. The primary problem is that schooling continues to be something that's done to kids rather than with them or by them. We have mission statements that say we want our graduates to be self-directed, autonomous, empowered, lifelong learners but we rarely live those in practice. Students are still told what to do almost every minute of every school day, all the way through graduation. And it's this failure of schools to recognize their fundamental human need for autonomy, for some control and ownership and power over what we do and how we do it, that leads to so many discipline and achievement, retention and other issues. We have three big shifts that we need to navigate simultaneously in schools. The first is a shift toward cognitive complexity. How do we get students doing deeper learning work more often rather than mostly recitation and recall? The second shift is technological, of course. How do we transition our learning spaces from analog to digital with all that entails? But the most difficult shift is one of agency. How do we move away from classrooms that are so heavily adult directed to ones that allow students to engage in collaborative inquiry and creative problem solving? Classrooms in which students are driving both the content and the process of their learning. And right now, most of us are not ready to give up our needs for control and compliance. So I think autonomy and empowerment are the next big things in educational technology. As Istians, we have to stop focusing so much on the tools themselves or on using these tools to just accomplish low-level learning and figure out how to make the devices and the internet enable deep, robust, student-driven learning instead. This is our challenge, and this is what I hope the board focuses on in the years to come. Thanks.